Hi, I'm Rita Heikenfeld, and welcome to Love Starts in the Kitchen. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome to Love Starts in the Kitchen. Actually, Love Starts in the Cuban Kitchen today. I'm Rita Heikenfeld, and my very special guest is Betty Rodriguez Hakes, and Betty makes Cuban cooking look easy. What we're going to do is we're going to make it almost like a yellow rice. So a lot of people say, oh, it looks a lot like Mexican rice um, because it's yellow, but what we're going to do is we're going to flavor it with a uh, seasoning called bijol, and it's B-I-J-O-L, and you find this in the um, Spanish food section of the supermarkets. Okay? And what is it exactly? It's a seasoning and yellow food coloring, okay? okay. Um, this is what we call poor man saffron, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I did bring, which you can use saffron for this dish as well. It gives it a slightly different flavor, more of a seafood type of flavor, I think, because mm -hmm. you usually use it more for paella. But um, this is very expensive, as many of you know. So growing up, we didn't have you know resources like that. So my family always used this, and it just makes a very quick, easy meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me, let me just take a. Let me smell this. Okay. Oh, that smells really. Oh, look how mm -hmm. bright color. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's and beautiful. You can go ahead and put that into just the pot. Put this, just mm -hmm. like this. How much? That's about it. Oh, I just love it. Just a pinch. Just a pinch. Okay. Yep. Um, so. We're going to put in the chicken broth, and we're going to put that heat to high. Okay. And we're also going to add about four ounces of tomato sauce, also, also for flavor and coloring. Okay. You know, this reminds me, Mom used to, when, when the budget was lean, which was actually many times, she used to do what she would call Spanish rice. But similar to this, but that's when she would use the marigold petals or the dried marigold petals, etc. And it, it, she used the tomato sauce, sometimes a green pepper and onion. It was really a vegetarian dish, but it was really good. And what I love about this dish is that you can play it up or play it down, mm -hmm. whatever is in your pantry and whatever your family yes. likes. It smells and so I'm good. And I'm going to grab some olive oil. Okay. Now, it's very important to put a little bit of olive oil. Then once it does come to a boil, we're going to reduce that to low and then cover it. Okay. And then set the timer for about 20 minutes, and it should come out perfect. Stir that in there. And another thing is that you can do is you can put um, roasted red peppers on top and it looks real pretty too. Oh, that sounds good. That's very Spanish to put roasted red mm -hmm. peppers like that. Give it a little color and more mm -hmm. nutrition and flavor. Yep. That looks beautiful, Betty. That looks it. so it's good. So easy. Mm -hmm. 